Hello, welcome back to the Dory Woodman YouTube channel. Today we are looking at the Valent Aerotherm Plus 7 kilowatt installed in a new build. Music licensing reimagined. Okay, so the Bainant Aerotherm Plus, we've installed a 7 kilowatt heat pump into this property. It's on three levels. We've got a ground floor with underfloor heating and two, a first floor and a second floor with radiator system. Our underfloor heating is monitored or used with a third party control, which is heat misers. And on the first and second floor, we've used Bainant's controls. The first floor has the VR92, which was very similar to what we have on the second floor, which is the Valent Sensor Comfort. The Sensor Comfort is our real control, so that really takes care of you know, how we set up the system, the heat curve, you know, the flow temperatures, um, setting up how warm we want the cylinder to, to become, etc. etc. So you know that's a real integral part of this. It's a very smart bit of kit as well. And you know, we've displayed this on our video so you can kind of have a look at some of the control and, and how that looks and how it operates. So we've got three zones. We've got three um, two port valves here. Over here we've got our interface, we've got a wiring center, and we've also got the Senso Net, which is internet connectivity. You can download an app on your phone, and this enables you to then be able to control your heating and hot water system and set up timer programs, and even we can look at some of the data and information via the Senso Net in order for us to kind of ascertain if there's you know, how the heat pump's running, if there's any situations that we need to attend to. So with a, a radiator system involved, we need to set our flow temperature up to 50 degrees. Um, the underfloor heating is set on the control to run at a lower temperature, and we've also got a mixing valve to enable that and make sure that it only gets to um, you know, a maximum of 45 degrees when it's supplying the flow temperature in the underfloor heating system. Now at 50 degrees in the Aerotherm Plus on the 7 kilowatt, you're looking at a scope of around about 3.65. Now this is a very well insulated home, it's a new home. We expect the scope levels to be much better than that due to the fact that actually you know, you're going to be um, probably needing less energy to heat the home and the heat pump itself will modulate and it will adjust itself as to the outdoor temperatures and how quickly the home is warming up and how quickly it's losing heat. So we will find that that will work much more efficiently. But also, even at lower temperatures, even though it's a seven kilowatt, as we've displayed in um, previous videos, the output from the heat pump itself is capable of going up to almost nine kilowatts. Um, when, once you start getting to around about the zero and, and three degree marks. So, you know, it's a very high performance, um, but very efficient heat pump. And as you can see from the size of you know the area here, we've been very fortunate to have a plant room area which enabled us to kind of you know spread our um, system out to a point where it's you know much easier to maintain and put all of the ancillaries around. And we can adjust this depending on the size of the of the cupboard or space. But you know we've got a buffer tank, we've got a cylinder, we've got our controls, but everything's nicely laid out as you can see. So if you've got the capacity to have that facility available for the install of a heat pump with a cylinder and a buffer, then you know it's much, much, much nicer for us as an installer, but also just for maintenance and servicing, etc. etc. As you can see, we're still bare piped at the moment. Um, but we will be putting the insulation on, obviously to prevent as much heat loss as possible um, for the final kind of handover. But we've just installed this, it's currently ramping up and giving us some hot water at the moment. Um, we expect the cylinder to be at a temperature of around about 53, 54 degrees, which is absolutely plenty. 
and um, we'll also set up a Legionella cycle which will be once in a week every seven days which basically just eliminates any produce or any bacteria build up from Legionella and you know obviously forms and part of the building regulations. We're going to have a quick look at the heat pump outside and so you can get an, a listen to the noise values. I mean the heat pump itself is actually set just away from the building. Um, we've done that purely on the basis of how the landscape works for the house but it's great because then it means that we are well within our design parameters of distances between windows and doors due to the refrigerant in which we use for the or which is used for the valent aerotherm plus which is the r290 which is a flammable explosive um, liquid or propane which you know essentially i mean that it's a double cased um, system so the heat pump itself you know it's got many many um, you know safety vessels and devices attached to it to ensure that you know everything is down to a bare minimum in terms of any kind of risk of say a refrigerant leak for example but you know it's very very rare but obviously these these have to be implemented and in place for everyone's safety so being a propane it's heavier than gas drops to the ground so it has to be away from doors and windows so that it couldn't seep in and obviously settle on the ground of, of your home and internally but you know there are parameters which we can you know work to and you know make it very safe for the for the user at home as well but it just has to be considered for the install we've used a pre-insulated pipe that protects the pipework outside as it's buried in the ground and also the pre-insulated prevents any heat loss so you know we've got this ramped up at the moment we're filling this now we've got a very warm um, temperature coming through here i'd say it's probably around about 60 degrees on the flow temperature here so you know the, the heat pumps are able to increase that volume, um, that flow temperature if required. But you have to consider if you're using that kind of temperature on your radiator system for a renovation house, for example, then your coefficients and your performance levels, you know, there will be, um, you know, it will be less efficient, but still capable of doing so. So on our system, we've got the Valent Senso Comfort. Now it's useful for us to gain information on this as well so you know you can check out for yourselves you know you can look at the current uh, temperatures internally so zone one it's our uh, zone which is down on the first floor it's 21 degrees zone two is up here on the second floor so it's 23 degrees slightly warmer as you'd expect being higher up uh, domestic hot water at the moment is charging so that's at 36 um, we can look at the air humidity, I mean these here we've got this one and the one on the first floor so I've got humidity which I can check. Energy data, obviously we've only just fired this up so there's minimal information on here but you can see how, ma how many kilowatt hours you're using each month, what you used last month, how much you've gone for the year, yada yada so you can kind of keep an eye on how things are running. And then Again, you can just use, look at it on your heating, on your hot water. We haven't got cooling um, and the entire installation, basically. It's quite informative. Have a look at that. And then we can just look at how everything is set up. We can name the zones. Call it whichever we would like, and there's programs at which you can set. We've also got, and there's an app available on Valence. Um, there's the multi app, and we've got the sensor net here. This means that you can use your mobile phone for any connection as well. Um, and obtain any information that you can see on the sense of comfort, which is always very useful. And we've got our interface. It's basically just telling us what's happening at the moment. Heat pumps on, we're cooling for hot water, um, which is currently in place at the moment. And then we're gonna check out the heating system. Okay, so this is the seven kilowatt outdoor unit as it's operating at the moment. This is on, um, 
the surroundings are going to be changed there's a wall that's being built behind and also they'll be taking up this floor level and removing the timbers away from the concrete pads which are in place um, so it's just a temporary setup as it is but it's it will stay in this position so i don't know if you can hear this is on at the moment flat out six producing 60 degrees to heat up the hot water and it is extremely quiet um, but a great looking bit of kit as i've said we put in a pre-insulated pipe which runs under the building and that's just protecting that pipe work and this wall is going to be built so it will enable us to kind of tidy everything up at the back here so now that you can see and you have seen how the valent aerotherm plus is installed what to expect i think it's a great looking piece of kit to be honest i mean it's one of my favorite um, heat pumps for sure and this is one of the favorite installs you know us at Dory Woodman and the guys here have done an exceptional job customers very very happy so you know we're good to go thank you for watching we'll get to work on the next video for you if you've got any questions any remarks or anything you want to ask please do so you can contact us in the comments below like share subscribe to our channel and you can see all the latest videos in which we'll be looking at other heat pumps and other renewable technology and kind of how the renewable technology market's going at the moment uh, you can follow us on instagram at dore.woodman check out our website www.dorewoodman.co.uk and contact us if you've got any queries questions or if you're interested in putting a heat pump into your home